welcome back to Beehive's vlog and in today's vlog uh, we're not really sure what am I going to show it's just going to be a random day routine um, whatever comes in, in the day ahead and in front of us we're going to record it and we're going to show it to you guys right now we are taking Scooby for a walk until Medina supermarket and we would be coming back in a car On our way back, uh, we have decided to come to Emacs uh, because my brother, he wants to buy for himself uh, a tablet, uh, maybe something for an office use. Um, we are here in Emacs, uh, so we're just checking out all the TVs and all the equipments. If anything we like and we find that it's in the budget, we might even buy it. So we just, um, me and my sister here are doing window shopping. They have decorated the whole store with the Valentine's feel and they have also kept some uh, some some electronics on sale. What I just noticed over here is this TV. This is these are some TVs that are just so unique and so beautiful and they're so precious <laughs> that they are as well so expensive. This one TV is for like 47,000 for Samsung and this is what a TV for 47,000? Wow, <laughs> this is so much to spend on. So, uh, this is a section for uh, crazy people. I would call it crazy people, crazy rich people who just want to buy a TV for 47,000 worth. <laughs> and someone who's really crazy to see if it's really thin also now we came to the mobile section um, of course our mobile is vivo uh, which one is it i think it's this one uh, besides vivo v20 is actually a very nice mobile for a camera uh, rolling it's really nice and the vision is very clear so we do recommend to those who actually uh, want a, ca uh, a mobile with a good camera um, I noticed that with every section they have to place the sanitizer so if you touch the tablets if you touch the uh, if you touch any equipment or electronic that is displayed uh, you can sanitize your hands after that for your own safety so we're just back home and we have planned to do the barbecue so here we're making the masala for the uh, the vegetables uh, my sisters has already added the masala uh, this she makes it her own self so this has all the spices uh, she will add um, around two tablespoon or I think three tablespoon of oil in this um, and uh, also we'll add salt and um, this is for vegetables this is not for the chicken so I'm going to show you the uh, recipe for the uh, chicken later she's going to add few drops of lemon in this now and uh, I will mention again that the salt is up to taste however you want uh, we do uh, use little salt in this then after that when we have already cooked it we use the salt later as well when we are eat when we are doing the bar like after the barbecue so we're just going to mix this and we're going to apply it on the uh, vegetables now here the vegetables we have taken uh, tomatoes chilies as well as we've taken potatoes so first we're going to apply on the top layer that is the tomatoes and then on the chilies and then we'll go and apply it on the uh, potatoes and the onions let's not forget onions as well And now is the time that we apply on the onions as well as the potatoes. Coming to the potatoes, we don't peel off the skin. We uh, we do it with the we do the barbecue with the skin, and it is tasty. But we make sure that we wash it. Uh, but otherwise, we don't uh, remove the skin. Coming to the chicken recipe, uh, my mom she has already added two tablespoon of uh, red chili. Now she's adding um, coriander powder. Then she will add the salt. Before salt, she's also adding this. This is one tablespoon of zira powder. One and half around. Um, also, my mom, she said that the masala also depends on the quantity of the chicken we are taking. So it also depends on that. Now she's adding uh, red chili flakes. 
red chili flakes is just up to the taste she'll add uh, one tablespoon of garlic powder and now she's adding one tablespoon equal of ginger powder this is uh, uh, this is actually called uh, garam masala so this one uh, is also a special masala for my mom and now we are adding uh, the chicken tikka masala this one is uh, from the box of uh, lazat this is the chicken tikka lazat masala as you guys can see i will show it to you guys now it's this one this is the lazat chicken tikka masala we normally use uh, uh, shan then we also use for mehran today we're going to use for lazat after all of this now we're going to add uh, uh, around two to three tablespoon of garlic ginger paste that's my mom she makes it in uh, oil itself or without oil it's up to you uh, after all of this now we're going to add uh, around half cup of lemon juice in this uh, now lemon juice depends if you want to take organic or you want to take the one which we get in the bottles so my mom she has uh, taken the one we're getting in the bottles after this we're going to add um, the uh, methi this is called dried methi leaf leaves and uh, we, we have added around like one tablespoon after all the masalas are added we're going to add the oil um, oil my mom said it's going to be around one cup or two cups again depending that the chicken should or must be soaked in it so that the masala goes deep inside it just mix it thoroughly and uh, apply everywhere so after the chicken is ready, definitely now it's time for the making roti. My sister, she is uh, baking roti. I will go and show you the scene outside. Outside, we have already, um, until the chicken gets ready, we have already put the uh, potatoes and the onions because these take time to get barbecue. So we've already put them. And uh, uh, we have also put the chicken boneless because these are the foods that really take time. So uh, until the bone and everybody else get ready and the rotis get ready, we're going to cook them first and uh, it will be uh, fresh and uh, fully cooked by the time it's to serve. My small little kitty Bubble is hiding behind the bushes and she looks super cute. <laughs> so we're here uh, making the roti uh, my sisters they make it differently and we make rotis also in house after the covid situation we have started making it in house daily uh, and that is also twice uh, we make it in the afternoon and as well as in the evening or we also make parathas in the morning so it's three times in the day and uh, this is how she makes the roti first she uh, cooks it on the high flame on tawa and after that she puts it on the direct flame of the chula that is the stove so that's how it uh, gets all the air and that's how it goes fully if uh, it goes it, it, it um, i don't know how do you say that but it becomes uh, fat <laughs> so outside now we have uh, put up on the barbecue stove uh, we've put the uh, tomatoes and we have put the chilies along with three potatoes that were left out So uh, my dad, he uh, wanted to have uh, some kebabs. So this are the kebabs that we have uh, got it. So we're just making like only three to four, six, especially for my dad. Uh, but definitely everybody is also going to have a day. So we're just going to make three to four, six. But otherwise, the main focus is the chicken barbecue. So this was the um, this was the whole day. This was the small vlog, and I hope you guys liked it. And thank you for watching. Do subscribe and share, and do also throw in your suggestions. Your suggestions are always welcome, as you guys already know that. Um, and do not forget to share the vlog with your uh, friends, and also let me know that what you want me to discover in UAE. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.